I'm gonna reverse the speed and repeat the action several times. I take the Razor tool from Premiere Pro. I've already positioned my CTI just before the beginning of the action. Before the book falls, I'm gonna perform a cut using the Razor tool. I'm gonna play and stop immediately and just move my current time indicator right after the book disappears from the scene and I cut again. Now I will take the selection tool if I only have one piece of clip left over after the part that I've just cut. Otherwise I will take the track selection tool to move everything else and I will go back to my selection tool to select the piece of clip that I've just highlighted with the razor tool. I will go then to edit and copy and edit and paste and immediately will be pasted right after. I will carry on using the shortcut command V one, two and three times. So the number of repeated part is now five. It has to be an odd number to make sense. Then I'm gonna right click into the gap and choose ripple delete. Now, if I play the video, I will see the same repeated action five times. All I need to do is to right click the even number, so the instance number two, and I'm gonna choose speed and duration. Into speed and duration, I will just select reverse speed and press OK. I'm gonna do the same thing on the fourth bit of the clips that I've just pasted. And there you go, reverse speed one more time. If I play the video, the book will go down, up, down, up, and finally down.